At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Hey guys, and welcome to a new episode. A new series, in fact. Um, we're going to be playing Two Point Hospital. Um, so a big shout out to my sister. She gave me this as a present for my birthday. Totally unexpected. Um, but I'm really excited to get into this and start playing. I've been playing Theme Hospital on my channel already, so if you haven't watched those videos, why don't you go back and watch that? Um, but for now, I'm going to jump straight in, start a new game, and off we go. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients oh, believe they leave well, healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment so is they, look, by it's a bit of a healthcare practitioner, successor to Theme Hospital, and there's some DR. cute you little uh, your animations. Let us ease your worries. Oh, and what are they doing to him? Out of your body. Oh, it doesn't look very well. Infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly any. Oh, they've got ghosts. They've got fire. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Right. Great. So there are a few loading screens in this game. I've seen a few people play it online and I've noticed there's quite a few loading screens, which is a bit annoying. But here we have it. It's very pretty. Welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. So it looks like there's a... I know that there's a few different hospitals you can do. So this is Hogsport. And here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. Okay. So here we go. Hogsport. Begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. So it looks like I've got one friend who's played. Um, but let's start. Hogsport, begin your career as a hospital administrator. Yep, just read that. Learn the basics of the job. So I think we've got a bit of a tutorial here. So um, we'll hopefully rush through that quite quickly. So looking around, move around the hospital, move the right mouse button and drag. Move the cursors and use WASD. Yeah, standard movement protocol. Lovely, there we go. Um, zoom in and out with the uh, mouse wheel. Build a reception desk, so you click on items. Reception, lovely. So how do I turn it around? So, so I can just turn it like that. Or I can use the Z and X, lovely. So I'm just gonna plop it down there. Thousand dollars, seems reasonable. I'll need an assistant for an reception, so I hire one of those. So I go down to hire. An assistant, um, well you've got customer service and customer service too, you're great, well you're expensive but you'll do the trick, place you in there, Ah, oh, don't you look happy. So general practitioner's office, great, before we officially open we'll need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner at each stage of diagnosis. The GP will assess patients and decide if they're ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. Let's build a GP's office now. So, okay. Build a room, click on the rooms button, pick one from the list, okay. So, rooms, GP's office, um, and there we go. Um, not sure how we rotate, oh there we go, middle mouse button and move around, I'll put that down there. Put a desk in the corner there. Um, put a filing cabinet over there. Um, what else do you want, do you want a, uh, yeah, let's, let's throw in a couple windows for you. A window there, window there, window there. Um, lovely, it's always nice to have windows. Patients are asked to trust us with their lives? Well, you should hope so. It's a, it's a blimmin' uh, hospital, isn't it? A lovely plant, keep it nice and pretty. A couple plants in there. And I can't buy anything else, so big tick. There we go. So I built a GP's office. Excellent, now we'll need a doctor to run the GP's office. So that down to hire. Go to doctors, um, two treatment. Oh, you've got a bit of stamina. You are expensive, but I think in this level we can probably deal with that. So good news, our hospital is now open for business. Patients are starting to arrive. After they register at rece reception, they'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. Okay, so let's zoom out a bit. Okay, zooming, rotating. Yeah, I already worked that one out. Whee! So maybe this way around is going to be a bit easier to use it. So I'll zoom the camera, alt zoom in, zoom out, lovely, and pitch the camera, there we go. 
And I like these little um, things that you have to do over here. So we have to diagnose a patient. So maybe we'll get some fast speed going on. There's only one setting of fast speed in this game. I did like in Theme Hospital the way you always get um, you always get like five t different ways of fast speed. So pick up, there you go, plop yourself in there. Invalid navigation. Okay. Well, you're going back in anyway. Um, so sit behind your little desk, right in the corner, shoved in the corner. Looks quite difficult to get in, really. Um, what's he got wrong with him? Door visitors, please um, talk silently. Talk silently? Okay, pharmacy required. You've got grout. We've diagnosed our first patient. The GP has sent you a message. Have a look at the message list in the bottom right. Okay. Our doctor's discovered a new illness. Pharmacy required. Grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is effective. Unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. Yeah, you can wait a little while. I have a feeling I made my GP's office a bit big in there. But let's get a pharmacy anyway. I'll plop it on the end here. Nice little small one. Get that in there. Get, you know, get a few windows. It's always nice to have windows. Um, you'll have seen in my theme hospital, I always like to put windows absolutely everywhere. I don't know, I, I think it must do something good. And in this game, there's um there's different there's different things you can do to make the win the room nice. Um and for example, um there's this little indicator up here called prestige. So if you get your prestige higher, I think the, the room works better essentially. So I'll put um you know, I'll put another filing cabinet in there. Um no. Uh, Z and X, is it? So there we go, that's nice, that's lovely. So I'm up to prestige level 3. So I've got to go here and hire, I've got to hire a nurse, I've got none, this shows me I've got none. Um, oh, you've got motivation. Thank you, yeah, he looks good, he'll do the trick. Um, so, are they up to it? So we've got someone in there, it goes in there, oh, what are you doing, mixing? That looks like a paint mixing machine in the, uh, in the DIY shop. Oh, patient cured. Well done. We've cured our first patient. We've earned some money and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or a nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in so we can expand the hospital. Lovely, okay. Lovely! So you can also use the mouse to move around it looks like. Now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use and will need repairing from time to time. If it falls into disrepair it can be a fire hazard. Yeah, you don't want any fires, okay. Point taken, janitor, all. Oh, what are you, mechanics two, mechanics one. Happy, maintenance. Got the whole jazz. Oh, but I might hire that person there. Looks like you can catch ghosts. Got to keep people happy. So, okay, what have we got? We've got items. Okay, so benches. Uh, we'll place. Oh, can I plop down a bench there? Yeah. Plop down a bench there. Um, yeah. Um, how do I cancel an item? Do I, okay, I hold on that and I move that. Um, put that over there. And then what else do I need to put down? I need to put down one leaflet stand to keep people entertained. Um, yeah, put, put one over there as well. Um, and then, yeah, drinks machine. There you go, that fits in there nicely. The snack machine on the end there, lovely. So close the items window. If I want to pick up an item, yeah, I'll work that one out. Yeah. Um, okay, I didn't read that menu, but I think it said I needed a staff room. So off we go. Let's get them. You know what? They're a great, they're a great bunch of staff. Let's give them a lovely staff room. And you can change the size of the room there. That's lovely. That'll do it. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put a door in there. Again, you know, you've got to get the windows. It's a bit annoying the windows snap. Like lots of other things don't snap in this game. Um, and so I'm not sure why they decided that the windows did, would snap, but um, let's get you in. And how do I? 
Ah, oh, there we go. So if I hold control, then I can twist it in a in whatever fashion that I want. That's quite nice. I like that. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted at all, but, you know. This is a free space for free-thinking people. So we'll have a... There you go, lovely. You know, it's free-thinking, it's all happy. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have a drinks machine. Um, let's block off that window with a nice uh, snack machine as well. Bin for throwing away all your goodies. Fire extinguisher. Uh, no, we'll put it against that wall. And plants, you know, let's get some lovely plants in here, all along here. Maybe one in, a couple in the middle there to keep you all happy. There's nothing else I can put in there for now, so... Oh, I love the way they bu bubble up like that. Staff will head to a staff room when they're on a break. Fill the room with interesting items to help them become fully refreshed before their break. So I can now place a member of staff in a staff room to make them take a break, or in a work room to make them work there. Pick up a member of staff, hover over them, and hold the left mouse button. So if I come here, there you go, plop you in there. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering and if there are no bins nearby. Okay, alright, I better get some bins in. So in you go, toilet's unlocked. Um, so maybe I'll get a couple of bins in. So chuck a bin in there. Um, and you know what, we'll chuck a bin just at the end there. I didn't want to go around the corner because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put toilets down here. Lovely big toilets. Everyone can do their little business. No windows in there, I think. So that's nice. Um, maybe I'll put a sink there. Hand dryer. I mean, how many sinks and hand dryers do you really need? Um, Alright. Toilet cubicle there. One there. Um, bin in the corner. Fire extinguisher in there as well. Um, and you know what? Who doesn't like a nice plant in the middle? Of, yeah, a couple of plants in the middle there. There you go. Look at that lovely little room. I love the graphics in this game. They're very, you know, cartoony and cute, but in a kind of realistic way. So, further diagnosis. We're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room. If a GP isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnosis. Okay, janitors will empty bins and unblock toilets. That's fine. As you expand the hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. A larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. Okay, all right, look out for queues. Understood. All right, what have we got? Room, general diagnosis, lovely. So, uh, do we need one that big? Probably not. Let's make it a bit smaller. That'll do. Um, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Alright, let's get some windows in. Lovely. Examination table. Maybe I should have made it better so it can fit some stuff if it, um, you know, if we want to expand out later. So there we go. Put that in there. Um, let's get that in. Um, bin in the corner. Fire extinguisher. And let's get a nice plant in there. No, we're nowhere near Prestige level 3, even if I put a couple plants in there. Oh, we're nearly there. Um, you know what? Let's have another filing cabinet over here. Oh, there we go. Lovely. I don't know if that does anything good for us. Uh, maybe increases our level of hospital. Okay. We've exhausted all forms of diagnosis. We're going to need the diagnosis room, so off we go. So, it looks like we're going to need to hire another doctor. Oh, you've got diagnostics too, so you can plop in there. Um, hire, oh, maybe is it nurses that go in there? So you've got diagnostics one, and also you've got stamina, so let's chuck you in there. Okay, it's nurses, is it? Oh yeah, nurse. So that's what you need, you need nurses in there. Um, and what else do I need? I need another, another GP's office already? I mean, I would hardly say that GP's office is overrun with patients, and this layout has really made a mess of this layout. Okay, let's chuck that in there. I mean, this is only the first level. I'm still learning. Um, as I said, this is a lovely present from my sister, um, and I promised her I'd start recording these videos as soon as I got an opportunity. So here we are. Um, Former patients are asked not to want the hospital. 
Alright, former patients. Well, if you didn't kill them all, that might not be an issue. So there we go. Lovely. So, hospital star rating. The Two Point Health Ministry is keen to recognise the achievements of every hospital in the county. If we can build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local area, hospital will be awarded an official star rating. This will be great for our organisation. Okay, continue to expand the hospital to acquire a one star rating. So what do I need to do? Cure three patients with lightheadedness. So I've seen the adverts for this game and I have a feeling those are people with light bulbs on their heads. Now what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Ward required. Okay, so your lightheadedness. Oh, I've got a few more rooms here. Okay, so let's get a deluxe. I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll get a ward in. Well, is that going to fit in there? Yeah, that's quite a good layout actually. We'll put that in there. These ward doors are quite big. Um, everyone can have a little look in. There you go, lovely. And how do these beds fit in? Can they? No, they can't get to them if you do that, can you? So, put that there. No. Okay, so if I move that along, that's not going to work. So that works. Um, and that works because they can get in either side, so that's nice. And then what we'll do is we'll slip, flip this round. And you can fit right in the corner. Um, I presume I need this changing screen, although I'm not 100% sure. Uh, do you need lockers? Yeah, you can have a locker there. Maintenance um, Bins will become full. You can have that. Uh, let's have another couple. No, along this along this wall here. So you can spin it around. Lovely. It's nice being able to spin this round. Um, makes a huge difference. So, so chuck in a filing cabinet. And what else can they have? They can have a nice bin. Um, fire extinguisher. Do they need one then? Probably not. But let's chuck one in. And they can have a little plant, a couple plants by the door. So there we go, lovely. So multiple beds to a ward, still with more than patient at a time. You can also adjust the number of nurses. So if you have a huge ward, I suppose you could have loads of nurses in there to kind of sort them all out. So you've got ward management, you've got bedside manor, pharmacy. Okay, we'll hire you because then you've got both, lovely. Um, and then lightheadedness is the next thing. So deluxe clinic, I presume, is what cures patients with lightheadedness. Unscrewing head since 2017. Zero in the hospital. Well, we're going to have to resolve that then, aren't we? So I'm just going to plop that there. In a normal scenario, I wouldn't do that. But, you know, I'm just trying to get this first level because although it's fun, you just want to get onto the other levels where you, where you don't have so many pop-up windows and you can really get into the game and, um, and really enjoy yourself nicely. Um, let's get the prestige up, so let's just get a plant in there. I think some of the rooms already have a higher prestige, so that'll, that kind of takes them up. So There we go, deluxe clinic. Um, oh no, patient gave up. I just was just putting it in, that's very unfortunate. That's a shame. Oh well, they won't be cured. Well, you're happy because you've been cured. Cured 20 patients, lovely. So, where are you off to? So I can click on you. Estimated chance of cure, 85%. It's not a high difficulty. Yeah, the skill of the staff is pretty low. That's a, that's a damning, damning uh, conclusion. I'll oh, unscrew it. Yeah, you're still alive. Yeah, nice 3D head. Plop that on. Uh, there we go. Yay, you're alive. Candida flop. Well, you can change your head now. What happens if I click on you now? Staff announcement. Ah. Doctor, you've won. Please come out. There we go. Candida flops now got ahead. Lovely. Appointment none. Feeling cured. For 70 days. So one more. Oh, no, you're dead. That's, that's not a good Eight idea. Oh, awards, awards countdown. Three, two, one, and it's gonna show me my awards. Yep, yeah. uh, what did I get? What did I get? Open them all. So I got Doctor of the Year, Lawrence Flush, good work. Um, Nurse of the Year, no deaths, and most prestigious, you know, a couple of leaderboards here. Um, yeah, not doing too bad, not doing too badly, so off we go. Doing quite well. Um, so, let's see what we've got. 
So a few messages, oh I missed these. Sad news, our first patient death. Patients can die if a treatment fails, okay? Sorry. By completing objectives and challenges, our organization earns kudosh. Oh, like kudos with an H, I'm not sure why. Is that because it's a hospital? Any item with a padlock can be unlocked using K. Best of all, we can then purchase that item in any of our hospitals. Oh, you want a little bit of promotion. Go on then. Yeah, right up until you're green. Yeah, you're happy. Promote you. Um, okay, some controls. Okay, lovely. Lovely. Okay. So, oh, they put a little light bulb on there. That's nice. That's quite nice, that. And they have a little, you know, it's meant to be like chemicals on there. That's just meant to be a boring GP's office. Um, what have we got here? Oh, it's, that's a very, you know, interesting. Boring again. Ward is just standard, so. But I like the little, um... I went to the I like the little, uh, recently. It was uh, what's it called, a light bulb on there. So I'll try and stop spinning it around so much, because I know that can get a bit annoying. So, come on, let's speed it up a bit. Fast speed, get our three patients cured. Here you go, come on, I know what you've got. Can I send you straight? No. Can I send you, why can't I send you straight to the, uh, to be cured? Because I can see what you've got. Um, I'm making money at least, which is a good thing. Okay, you've got an appointment in there. Lovely, okay. So once you've had your appointment, you go over here. What, 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 why are you sitting down now? Oh, you're waiting for a doctor to turn up. Okay, come on. Chop, chop. I haven't got all day now. In you go. Deluxe clinic. Estimated chance of cure 90%. Okay, that's pretty good. That's better than the, than the last one. So hopefully that'll, uh, that'll definitely happen. There we go. Come on, third cure, third cure, there we go. Dear hospital administrator, one star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. That's one out of a possible three. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets. If you believe that you're capable of more, alternatively run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in the lower bullocks. The choice, as they say, is yours.